Research shows one in four employees are struggling in silence with challenges such as anxiety, low mood, or stress that are linked to underlying causes including significant life changes and events. You may be surprised to learn this fact or maybe you're not so surprised. When most people think of well-being, the first thing that may come to mind is mental, physical, and financial well-being. Well-being encompasses these areas and so much more. My name is Kendall Johnson from Human Resources. Today I will share actionable steps to help you personally in being proactive to prioritize your well-being and what you can do to support others. Back in 2020, while spending much time at home, I was able to take inventory of my priorities, what they currently were versus where I needed them to be. I realized how many things that used to be of great importance to me have been put on the back burner due to other things getting in the way. It made me feel as if I was forgetting to prioritize myself and all the things I love that make me who I am. As a world, we have dealt with many different factors that have shifted and re-emphasized our priorities within the last few years. Employees are showing up in the workplace while navigating complex life work circumstances that are impacting their well-being. So now, more than ever, it is important that we make well-being the priority and prepare for challenging situations that may arise in the future as best as we can. Henrico County's capability model refers to well-being as your whole health and defines it as building and supporting a work culture that enhances social, emotional, physical, mental, and purpose-related wellness. Well-being is directly correlated with belonging. When employees feel valued, respected, and empowered, their well-being improves. Now that we know why it's important, let's take a look at what prioritizing well-being in the workplace looks like, and here's some of, of the professionals right here from Henrico County talk about it. think about connection, especially in the workplace, it is so important because we can't do what we do without communication. Think about what it would look like to cultivate healthy relationships and environments at work. Would you be more happy to come to work? You might be more comfortable in your ability to speak up and try new things or try new initiatives. Most of us spend a lot of time at work, so why not be proactive in making it a space that supports well-being through positive connections? So being socially connected and having stable and supportive relationships increases your likelihood of just making healthy choices and overall great mental health and physical well-being. So it's important for employees to focus on the value of connection with their well-being. As connected employees not only enhance collaboration, but it also cultivates healthy working relationships and environments serving as a way to foster a culture of knowledge sharing so it happens more organically and naturally. There can definitely be challenges when we find ourselves in spaces where well-being is not a part of the work culture. As a result, employees may not reach their full potential, both professionally and personally. This may look like lack of participation or morale, employees having to cover at work, or even difficulty attracting new talent to your organization. All of these things may be avoided when well-being is prioritized and is the focus. Some actionable steps for fostering a culture of connection may include being intentional with creating regular opportunities for employees to connect. Establishing healthy connections goes beyond just avoiding isolation and loneliness. Our relationships have a profound effect on many facets of our well-being, impacting our physical, 
and mental health and shaping our ability to thrive not only at work but also in other aspects of our life. Next would be not assuming that you know what others may need for that sense of connection. Get curious and ask them. And then lastly, help others connect. Connection goes hand in hand with communication. Each of our lived experiences, backgrounds, and perspectives can be different. So by embracing positive and inclusive ways to communicate, such as understanding different communication and learning styles, practicing active listening, and engaging with the heart, we will all be doing our part to create good experiences for our fellow colleagues and residents here at Henrico County. Current events, personal events, and life events will come up without warning. And now we have identified the importance of being proactive and actionable steps to implement so that we are better able to tackle challenging situations as they arise. Also, don't forget to check out more informative videos on our channel for now and check back soon for new videos on trending topics to come. And lastly, please take care of yourself. Until next time.